Hello everyone, Shiva Sapkura here with a video on the Jetson Bolt Pro and today we're going to be talking about how to replace a battery on this bike. I hope you haven't had to replace your battery yet given how recent this bike was launched so I hope the battery is still good but I wanted to make this video because a lot of you have asked about how do you replace the battery once the battery dies out and you can no longer charge it? How much does it cost? Uh, is it complicated? What about the warranty? So you guys have asked a lot of questions on my previous videos, which brings me to a good point that if you are new to my channel, my name is Shiva Sapkota. I make technology videos covering wide range of technologies, uh, including Tesla and e-bikes like this Jetson Bolt Pro. So I have a lot of videos in my channel covering this bike. I'll put a link below for the playlist so you don't miss anything. Please check those videos out. I cover a lot of, you know, anywhere from unboxing, range test, answering top questions to accessories. Uh, also answer a lot of questions in the comment sections uh, about whatever folks are having problems with the bike, uh, if they want to know the spec about the bike, uh, and so on. If you like what you see today, please consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit a like button for this video and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. I recently reached out to the manufacturer of this bike and they told me that the batteries are not covered under that one year warranty. I was a little shocked to hear that, but they were saying that the reason they don't cover the battery is it totally depends on how you are storing your battery, if you're overcharging the battery and so on. So that is the reason they say that they don't cover battery on that one year warranty. But they say that their goal is to get people riding uh, so that you know they might help you out in case you are having a drastic battery issues to reach out to them and they will try to help you out. I asked them what the cost was to replace the battery and they said that the battery currently cost $149.99 for the bike, which is a little surprising because the bike cost $300. So, you know, the battery is gonna cost you half of what the bike cost. Uh, it was a little strange. Uh, so when my battery really dies, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might just use it as, uh, you know, pedaling bike and then just purchase a new bike if I want because you know <laughs> replacing a battery on an older bike it's gonna cost me half of the cost of purchasing a new bike I don't know typically lithium-ion batteries like we have here in this bike last you know anywhere from one to two years and even more depending on how you use it how you store it that's why on one of my video I recommended you store the battery uh, in a room temperature do not overcharge it just watch when you are charging so things like that you can do to conserve your battery for this specific battery they estimate 300 to 500 charging cycles is when the battery will go bad and you might no longer be able to charge the battery but a quick disclaimer before we start today's video doing this what i'm about to do uh, is to take apart the bike show you where the battery is disconnect the battery uh, and put the battery back on and put everything back together that is probably going to void my warranty for this bike so if you're going to do this at home and replace your own battery at home consider that that is a risk and i take no responsibility for that uh, my goal here is to just show you what is inside the bike and you know, show you every step of the way how you can replace the bike and make it as easy as possible so that you know what to expect when your battery dies and can no longer charge. And also, my battery is still good. I didn't purchase a new battery. It is um, just I wanted to show you because you have been asking a lot of questions about the battery, so I wanted to show you that. My battery is perfectly fine, just for the record. Before we get started, you need the following tools. Uh, Philip head a screwdriver a wire cutter just in case we have to cut the zip tie inside a um, couple of zip ties in case we want to do cable management after we cut those cables and then a couple of sharp items such as a toothpick or a thumb pin or something like this a little bit longer but sharp because we're gonna want to put take these caps out and these rubber caps are very stubborn so you need something very sharp to be able to take that out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just remove the rubber cap from all of 
the seven rubber caps. So to remove this rubber caps, just use a sharp object like this thumb pin here and then kind of push it in and try to take it out where enough of this exposes, so right here. So this is what this cap looks like. Could be very stubborn, but if you use a sharp object like this, it should come out. And here inside is your screw that is exposed now where we can use our screwdriver to remove it. Now that I've removed all of those plastic washers, I'm just gonna take my Phillip head screwdriver and then go into each of the seven holes and take out all of the screws. Uh, just be careful of how big your screwdriver is because the holes are pretty small and you might have to try a free screwdriver for it to fit. You can also use your drill, but I figure I would just wanna use my screwdriver. I just removed all of the screws, the seven screws from around this bike. Now we can safely remove this cap, but be very careful because there is your charging port right here and there is going to be a cable that is connected to the charging port. So be very gentle when you remove this. And as I said, there is your cable right here that's connected to the charge port. So first thing we are gonna do is let's remove that cable. And to do that, here's a pin and all you have to do is, there's that little tab right here. So push on that tab right here. So push on that and then pull and it detaches. Now we can move this cable out, but it gets stuck right here. I don't know why they did that, but it gets stuck and I don't want to damage this cable. So I'm going to remove the cap, but put it a little bit closer here and not totally take it out because as you saw, this gets stuck right here. We're going to remove the battery and then this will come out. This is what it looks like from inside. Here's a cable going to the pedal. This was your charging cable. Here's your bike controller. And there's other cables that are going to the motor that are coming out from here. I'm going here. And this is your battery right here. Next, I'm going to cut this zip ties here to see where the battery is connected to. I'm going to disconnect the battery before taking this compartment out. So for me to do that, I'm going to need to get rid of these zip ties. So one is out. So right here is your main battery connection. I just traced that cable. So the yellow black is your battery connection. I'm just going to remove this, pull this out. And now the battery is disconnected. And then let me see if I can, yep. So there's that cable and then the battery charging cable. So both of the battery cables are out. There are only two connections to the battery. If you look at it here, um, I don't know if you can see it from the camera, but right here, there are only two battery cables. So I disconnected all of them. Now I can safely remove the battery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove this four screws to take this battery and closer out. I have removed the two tabs that were securing the battery and now this is your battery, right here. This is all good to go. And you just swap the battery, put it in, and put everything all together. So let's do that. So here is the battery. As I said, there is the main power and then this is the charging cable. And just pay attention right here, it says no user serviceable part. So this thing is the whole battery. Like there is no parts that we can remove or replace. You have to buy this whole thing. It is a 36 volt, six amp hour, 260 watt hour battery. Let's go ahead and weigh this battery. And it looks like it weighs just 3.5 pounds. Well, we're looking at the battery. Let me provide you with some specs. So it looks like the length is eight inches. The width is about three and a half inches. And then the height is close to three inches, not quite. This is what it looks like without the battery. Here is your motor cable right here. 
and then the rest of your controlling cables are coming from here. Let's put it all back. Imagine that you just bought a brand new battery and now this is how we're gonna put it all back together. So let's set this battery down here, nice and secure. Now we can put these tabs that were securing the battery and this right hand one, it, the, the height is the same, but this side is a little bit shorter. So a little bit of shorter side goes on top and then the other side goes on the bottom. So just slide it in here and you're gonna put in one screw here and then the other one goes to the bottom. Now the second one, it's a little confusing, the left hand side one. As you saw, the height is not the same. This one is a shorter height, this one is a longer height. So you have to look at it right here. The height of this is coming up quite a lot. So this one is a lot longer than this one. So that means the shorter side is gonna sit here versus this one is kind of deep down here. So the longer side, the longer height is gonna go down here and secure this side and then the shorter side will do this one. So now we're just gonna put the screws and tie them those and then we'll connect our battery and then put the cap back on. Now these two tabs are securely in. Just give it a little bit of wiggle to make sure that the battery is secured. Now time to connect the battery. So the connecting this battery is fairly easy. If you look at right here, there is one round edge and then there is this other square edge. Just match it here. There's one round edge and then there's one square edge. So I'm just gonna put this battery and then push it in. So once you push it in, it's nice and secure. Just tuck these cables here and we're ready to put the cap back on. So I realized that I secured everything and I forgot to fish this wire, the charging wire through the battery port. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it through here and then put the cap back on. I don't see any issues with that, uh, but if I run into any issues, I'll let you know. Now it's time to connect this charging cable. So this is the cable, just face this notch towards the top and then put it in. And your charging cable is secured in place. After you have connected the battery and before you put the cover on, just press on this power button to make sure that your battery is connected. If you see this green indicator, that means your battery is connected and you're good to go. Before putting this cover back in, uh, just make sure all the cables are tucked in and they are in underneath this tab so that when we put the cover, they're not hanging out outside of the cover. So just make sure that is happening. And once you have secured everything, just put the cover back on and we'll follow the same procedure we did when we took it out. Make sure everything has been sealed properly here. So nice and tight seal everywhere. Now let's put the screws. So one thing about this rubber cast, they are directional. You see the angle here is facing this way. So you want to do the same with the rubber is you want to put it in the hole and make sure they are facing the same way as the the cover is angled. So in this case it goes like that and then here since it's angled up we're going to want to put this this side up angle that way. So like this. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Comment below your thoughts about this bike or any other questions you might have about the battery, about any aspect of this bike, accessories, things like that. Let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate all of your engagement in my previous videos. I love reading your comment. I love answering your questions. It, it gives me going, you know, your support really really means a lot to me so that i can continue to grow my channel i have a lot more videos coming on this bike uh, but you can also comment below and let me know what other videos you would like me to make on this bike or answer any questions you might have if you enjoyed today's video and you are new to my channel 
please consider subscribing to my channel, turn on the notification so that you don't miss anything in the future. Thank you very much for your time. I'll see you in the next video about this bike.